Now, this isn't a video about how modern Marvel fails to understand what people like about Marvel or how the setting has been overtaken by SJW trash or about the overwhelming influence the movies now have over the comics, nor even about how Secret Wars, not that one, that one or that one, altered the setting in 2015. No, this here is about something I've noticed and planned to do a video on for years. In fact, I wrote most of this back in 2017 when I lacked the influence to get the information I needed to complete it. You see, objectively speaking, the current Earth-616 Marvel Universe cannot be the same same universe as the one that was created back when Captain America and his wartime buddies debuted. To understand how, you need to understand how time and reality alteration work in Marvel. Let's start with a good example. The Age of Apocalypse was an event comic that ran from late 1995 to early 96. The story begins with Charles Xavier's son, David, going back in time to assassinate Eric Lenscher before he became Magneto, but Charles sacrifices himself for his friend. As a result, a grandfather paradox erases David from reality and then kind of stops, and Apocalypse awakens before there are any superheroes conquering the world easily. In the end, Bishop goes back and prevents Xavier's assassination, thus reverting the timeline back, or so the story would have us believe. Let's ignore the fact that you can't actually revert a timeline through time travel, only create a new, similar one. Let's ignore the fact that multiple natives of the Age of Apocalypse make it over into the restored Earth-616, including Dark Beast arriving in the past and becoming a part of Emma Frost's backstory. Let's imagine that the post-AOA Earth-616 was exactly the same as the pre-AOA 616. Since the event ended, the Age of Apocalypse timeline has been revisited a number of times, such as the 2012 sequel series and the Dark Angel saga of Uncanny X-Force. Age of Apocalypse continued to exist after Earth-616 was restored. If that's the case, then surely Earth-616 should have persisted itself when the Age of Apocalypse was created, right? But we're led to believe it didn't. The story's logic is that the Age of Apocalypse writes over pre-AOA 616, but post-AOA 616 doesn't do the same to AOA. This also happened with other reality warping events such as House of M and Age of Ultron, and probably more I'm not aware of. And that's not even counting random reality-altering events in non-event comics. This happens a lot, so I've got no idea how many universes have been labelled as Earth-616. But really, this all begs a very important question. When did we stop following the original Earth-616? What was the first time or reality-altering event that shifted focus away from the main Marvel Universe and down this path of pretenders? As far as I'm aware, it's Fantastic Four number 5 from 1961, where Doctor Doom sends the men of the team back in time and Ben becomes Blackbeard. No matter how insignificant your impact, simply existing in a space you originally didn't is an alteration to the timeline, and by the logic of alternate timelines and rewritten realities that have temporarily replaced Earth-616 and then continued to exist, even going back for a nanosecond and then returning should create a new timeline. Granted, that story did somewhat suggest a predestination paradox, but you do get the idea. We have theoretically been following a series of false Earth-616s since 1961, meaning the actual lifespan of the original Marvel Universe is from Namor's debut in 1939's Motion Picture Funnies Weekly No. 1 up to April 1962's Fantastic Four No. 5. Namor himself had appeared in the previous Fantastic Four issues, so much like how Barry Allen is the harbinger for change in the main DC universes, so too is Namor for Marvel. Expect his MCU debut to herald the return of retired characters in new forms with rewritten backstories and those fucking lines every costume had in DC for like five years. If you liked this video, why not subscribe and support me on Patreon like these fine people here? If not, then make sure to share it with your enemies so they can suffer along with you. Today's recommended video is We Are The Fantastic Four, a retrospective beyond pictures by B-Mask. It's a fantastic... I, I didn't... I didn't realise I had chosen that word when I wrote the script, and I just now, while recording, realised. But it is accurate, it's a fantastic exploration of the FF and why B-Mask loves him so much, and why you should too.